Hi, I'm Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to run through some of the intelligent features in our new 4 megapixel IP cameras and NVRs. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's select one camera. This is a 4 megapixel camera, the X2C 4000 BMP mounted on the side of my house. Okay, so let's go into the menu and advanced. Here you'll see the intelligent button on the left hand side. Click on that. First thing you'll see is a scheduler, so you can uh, set it when you want it to do its thing and when you don't want it to do its thing. I've got it on 24-7 there. And then below you've got six um, intelligent features. On the 4 and 8 channel unit only the top three are working and on the 16 and 32 all of them are working fine. Don't know whether the firmware update is going to be bringing them all into all units, but we'll, we'll see in the future. At the moment, that's the way it is. Uh, you can also only use three features at a time, and it's either the top three or the bottom three. You cannot have that one and two from the top. It's either those three or those three. Okay, so what are the features? Perimeter intrusion detection, line crossing detection, stationary object detection, pedestrian detection, face detection and cross counting. Okay, perimeter intrusion detection. Here's the setup screen for it. All the screens are the same on this, uh, on these six. So you enable it. This is whether it bleeps at you when it gets activated or not. Sensitivity between one and four. Leave it on two, the default. Scene, outdoor or indoor. I'm using outdoors this time. And then area setup, this is where all the uh, action is. So you can have up to four rules, so four areas, four all perimeters if you like. And you can have, have it so if anything enters or exits the box, it notifies, records, sends you an email, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you can choose whether it's A to B, which would in this case be leaving the box, B to A, anything entering the box, or both. Okay, so let's just make a new rule. Rule two, and then you just draw an area. So let's click four times. Now don't worry if you get this wrong. To edit it, you simply click on the box, and then you can drag corners around as you wish. So now I've just set that. So anything enters or exits that box, so anything on the road, will now be detected. There we go, as you can see, see the unit draws a yellow box around the, the area of detection and the green line shows the, the track, if you like, the, uh, the movement line of the, the object. Okay, that's perimeter line very similar same setup there instead of being a box you draw a line so you can see i've got one here anything goes either crosses that line either way i get detected i get uh, informed about that and it starts recording stationary object slightly different so here you would draw a box around an object if that object moves shifts, is interfered with or disappears, you immediately know about it. Pedestrian detection. These features are, these three features are designed to use indoors. Pedestrian detection. This is looking for people walking and it will log them and count them. Face detection. Looking for faces. And then cross counting. That's going to give you a, a number. So if I set this lot, I've set this, this rule up last night, and um, so any vehicle that crosses that that line, anything going up the hill to the left of the picture, is counted. So if we just go back to system, and then intelligent analysis, and then you get a number of uh, ins, number of outs, and you can have it objects or pedestrians. 
And finally, this last set of the screens here, this is what happens once it's notified, once uh, it's activated, sends a shows a message, sends you an email, brings it up full screen, or records to a certain channel, or whatever channel you like. The 4 megapixel cameras and NVRs are available to buy from our website now, hdcctv.co.uk, or give us a call on 01952 505 696. Thanks for watching.